In this episode of Believe, we take you to the haunted Kloss Brothel. Join us as we perform a Gonsfeld experiment with a psychic medium and use a supermodel as a trigger object. The actual building is actually three buildings in one. It's believed that the original uh, was built in the late 1800s, uh, but the business that uh, was started by Adolf Kloss was actually uh, in 1922. During Al Capone's period of power, this establishment hosted a speakeasy and brothel. Men would come here to drink illegally during Prohibition. The upstairs area was used for gambling and prostitution. Chicago really is known as one of the most haunted cities in the world and a lot of the times we talk about the big tragedies that have occurred that have sometimes taken hundreds of lives at one time. But more than that, I think Chicago is so haunted because of all of our secret history, all of the gangland history, uh, all of the things that went on behind closed doors, uh, all of the untoward situations that I think have led to uh, a lot of lasting um, interaction with a lot of people that have gone in the past. We believe that one of the spirits that haunts this very room is of a spirit, a female spirit named Ava. We believe that she was probably a prostitute. Some of the other uh, ghosts that have been reported are male spirits. Uh, we have a male spirit that's very angry here that has been told us on many occasions to get out. Even a full body apparition of a male has been seen uh, in the room next to us going into the bathroom, the male bathroom, uh, wearing a fedora. The current owner of the building told us about a photo that was taken in the building not long ago. He called the woman who had the photo on her phone and asked her to swing by for an interview. Okay, so my sister, Paula, was the former manager here at Class Restaurant, and one night she was closing, and she was taking some pictures. She sent me one of the pictures that she took and asked me what I thought of it, and I was like, oh my God, that is, something is in that picture. The photo you were about to see was taken upstairs in an area that the owner calls the Russian Room. Examining this photo, you can see what appears to be a man wearing a fedora hat. A good friend of ours, psychic medium Sonny Bolin, stepped in to assist us with our version of the Gonsfeld experiment. She requested that we set out a few trigger objects to offer the spirits, such as a glass of wine and an old prohibition dated bottle that was left in the restaurant. One of the methods that has been used by parapsychologists uh, for extended periods of time uh, has been the use of the Gonsfeld. And basically what it does is to cut off our sensory perceptions, our normal sensory perceptions. And the theory behind this is that if we cut off as much traditional sensory input as possible, that's going to open us up to uh, the perception of paranormal. We wanted to take the traditional Gonsfeld experiment to the next level. Instead of using traditional white noise influence, we chose to pump delta waves into Sunny's ears to cut off her hearing abilities. What we're going to do is use delta waves, pure delta waves. These are brain waves that your mind, your brain induces while you're sleeping. These have been connected to paranormal phenomena such as shadow people. When people wake up in the middle of the night and they see a figure standing in the room, some people believe that delta waves attracts these shadow people to them. During the experiment, as soon as the experiment started, I felt like there was a strong male presence standing right next to me. He was very strong and watching over what was going on. I was hearing footsteps, walking back and forth. I felt like I was actually in that time period, in that time that was going on. I heard gunshots go off. I heard two shots. They were so clear as day. After that, I heard a man yelling for a woman named Sherry. And I felt where someone was standing next to me and actually touching my hand and just lightly grazing it like to, to comfort me. After that, 
I um, heard like music and a lot of noise, like there was an actual party going on. And there was actually two men standing to my right, like almost where the piano is, and I heard them talking. And they were talking and laughing and carrying on. During the experiment, David had asked the spirits to play the piano. Could this have triggered the residual sounds Sonny was hearing inside of her mind while she was under? Spirits waiting for you. In return, can you play the piano for us? David also heard a man's voice whispering during the experiment. Could this have been the man Sonny told us she heard talking? Whispering kind of a uh, male whisper from over there. Alright guys, we're here now with Adita Rink. Hi. She's a model in Chicago and basically we brought her in as sort of a trigger object. Trigger objects sometimes are used to stimulate paranormal activity. So we're just gonna kinda see where this goes. We're gonna start it off with a spirit box session, so let's get it started. Adita's here and you can talk to her. Tell her if, uh, if you want to hire her or not to come work here. So we're going to turn the spirit box on. You could let us know how you feel about this. There are spirits in the room with us tonight. You say Adida. So, in this scenario, we had a couple spirits talking to you right now that they said they wanted to get to know you. Or we said, what do we say, who wants to get to know you? Yeah. The guy said, me. Like, <laughs> right away, it was hilarious. So, we're gonna take this, we're gonna move it over here a little bit, turn back on the spirit box, and we'll see what male contender comes up and wants to talk to Adita. Oh, she comes from sit next to her. Come sit next to me, what are you doing, guys? How are you talking about? I'm saying, who's sitting next to me? Go. I think it's an Adolf. Okay. It's an Adolf, and I think that's somebody's name that died here. Adolf. Hi. Adolf's the owner. Adolf said he's sitting next to the owner. Okay. No owner. Can I come work for you? <laughs> we took the investigation downstairs and Ariel from the West Chicago Paranormal Society stepped in to help out. Sonny also recovered from the Gonsfeld and decided to stick around. Spirits, can you make this flashlight turn off? Just turn it off. Any spirits in this building? Make the flashlight turn off completely. Keep going. Thank you. We decided to head into the basement where there are rumored to be negative spirits. 
During our EVP session, we utilize the EM white noise device. This device pumps out white noise into the electromagnetic spectrum. What? Need help? Did you hear that? Who needs there help? Was, there was a man's voice. Everybody, be real quiet. This can hardly even be considered an EVP because it was heard by Sonny's own ears. The voice was not captured by our digital voice recorder. It was captured clear as day by our camera's microphone. When the volume is turned up, it sounds like he's saying, he's off rhythm. What do you hear? I guess just come by me. 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 What was that? They came from right behind me. What was it? I don't know. It was just like a hoop or something. Spirits, you can use this device in my hand. Tell me some stuff about this basement. Mommy. 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 Yeah. Sin? Right? Yeah. Suffer. Suffer. suffer? Did you suffer down here? Rabbit. Rabbit? Business. Voice recorders. Story. Past. Tell me a word with this. How are you feeling? Pain. You're in pain. Why? Tell me why. I, I don't want to say the name, but I said, why, why are you feeling in pain? And it said, a demon's name that starts with a B. Did you hear that? There's something over here talking to my recorder. There's something over here talking to my recorder. There's something over here talking to my recorder. Who's he? Who's he? Who's he? We left the basement and investigated a few other rooms, but after the final EVP session ended, the activity seemed to die down, so we called it a night.